rise with me. Come on, hey! Yeah. And shout Come on. Sing your praise up. We come to celebrate Jesus. You gotta shout. And this is how we're gonna do it for the Lord Most High. Yes, sir. For the Lord Most High. He's over all the earth. Come on, for the Lord, yeah. for the Lord most high, for the Lord, have your hands, come on, I see you singing out there.
tears may fade away I'm so glad your love will stay Cause I love you And you show me Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody said, I love you, Jesus. 
I worship and adore you, just want to tell you that you mean more than anything. Lord, I woke up this morning with a mind stayed on you. Lord, I woke up this morning ready to bless you. The Bible says in Psalm 34 and 1, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually, continually, meaning on and on and on and on and on, your praises shall again and again be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And then the Bible says in 34 and 3, a book of some old magnified. The Lord with me. That means I don't have to do it by myself. It means even though I love God, there are some other people in the room who love him just like I do. Who came with a mind to praise him. Who came with a mind to lift him up this morning. Who came with the determination that this afternoon at anointed praise and worship ministries, I will praise the Lord. I will clap my hands. I will give him the glory. I will give him the honor. I'm going to tell him thank you for all that he's done for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rebuke the hand of Satan now. In the name of Jesus. Devil, you can't have our minds today. You can't have our hearts today. We belong to God. We belong to God. We belong to God. Somebody tell him, I'm not controlled by emotions. I'm not controlled by emotions. But whatever the word of the Lord says, the word of the Lord says, praise ye the Lord. Let everything that has breath, everything that's breathing, everything that's moving, praise ye the Lord. So I come to remind you today, I came to remind you today that God has been too good for us not to clap our hands. God has been too good for us not to do our dance. God has been too good for us not to give him the fruit of our lips. God has been too good. Come on online family. Let me see the hearts. Let me see the hearts in the house. Let me see your hands. Let God see your hands lifted. Saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. It could have been me. It could have been worse. I could have been gone, Lord. But I had another chance. I got another chance. Today is another chance. Today is another chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. You got to get determined in your mind that no matter what comes or goes, no matter how bad it gets, I will praise the Lord. No matter what the devil shows me, I owe God a praise. I owe God my praise. I owe him my worship. I owe him my life. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bless us today, God. Bless us today. We came to praise you. Somebody go ahead and get it in your mind that you came to praise him. Nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to stop you from praising, from lifting him up. Hallelujah. 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 I got a premeditated praise on today. I came to praise him. I came to lift him up. I came to praise him on purpose. I came to lift up my hands. I came to lift up my voice. I got to praise him because he's worthy. He deserves it. My hallelujah. My hallelujah.
Hallelujah belongs to you, God. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I heard somebody singing a song. It says, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. That leads me to wonder, do we really know God? Do we really know God, the creator of the ends of the earth? If we know that there's no God like Jehovah, it'll change the way we praise him. It'll change the way we lift him up. It'll change the way we approach him. It'll change the way we praise. It'll change the way we dance. It'll change the way we evangelize. If we really know Jehovah, somebody say, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God. When we really know him, it changes everything about us. Before I came to God, I didn't have a praise in my spirit. Even though I was playing the organ for the people of God, I didn't have a praise on the inside. But Brother J. Moss says there's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. A holler stirring up from the depths of my soul. So when I came to God for real, I developed my own praise. You can't keep me quiet because God has been too good. God has been too good. I know him for real. I know him for myself. Not through my mama. Not through my daddy. Not through my grandparents. But I know him for myself. Anybody in here know him? Hallelujah. Do you know him for yourself? If you don't know him, get to know him. Just start to call him Jesus. 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 Mary's baby. Lily in the valley. Bright and morning star. Oh, Jesus. If you want to get to know him, just call him Jesus. 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 Save me. Jesus. Save me. Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Comfort my heart, Jesus. Comfort my mind, Jesus. Come on, call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of your dance. He's worthy of your hallelujah. He deserves it. He deserves it. Get it on your mind. He deserves it. He deserves it. Get it in your spirit. He deserves it. God deserves all of the praise, all of the glory, all of the honor. Come on, come on, come on, family. Get it on your mind today. Get it in your mind. Get it in your spirit. Get it in your heart. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to lift him up. I'm going to magnify him. I'm going to praise his name today. I don't care how I feel in my body. I don't care what's going on at my house. I expect God to move before I get home today. God to move, move Jesus, move Jesus, move Jesus, move Jesus, move Jesus. Come on, praise us. I hear a song in my spirit. It says only God can do it. Many things we try to do it on our own, but only God can do it. Only God can change it. Only God can save us. Only God can heal. Only God can deliver. Only God can do it. 
Satan, and the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Got joy in my soul. God is in control. Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all this way. Well. He's attacking every day. He can't stop my praise. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. This means war. Y'all, come on, sing it. This means. This means war. Let the devil hear you. This means. This means war. Tell him what it means. This means war. Got joy in my soul. God is in control. Saving on my trail. Singing all is well. He's attacking every day. He can't stop my praise. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. Come on. This means war. Yeah. Tell him what it means. This means war. Come on, sing it. This means war. War on the enemy. This means war. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. You can't have it. You can't have it. Cause this means war. Y'all better sing this morning. This means war. Come on this afternoon, anointed worshiper. This means war. I like that. We got to tell him again. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. You can't have it. You can't have it. God. Let them know.
everybody to do something for me. Just start to move your feet. Move from that space where you are. We're declaring war on the enemy. You got to march. You got to march. We're soldiers in the army. We plead blood. We plead the blood of Jesus over our families. We plead the blood of Jesus over our increase. We plead the blood of Jesus over our homes and cars. We plead the blood of Jesus over our minds. I plead, I plead the blood. Cover me in the blood, oh God. One more time. I plead, I plead the blood. Yeah. I plead, I plead the blood. Yeah. I plead, I plead the blood. Yeah. I plead, I plead the blood. Yeah, y'all sound good. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. One more time. I bleed, I bleed the blood. I bleed, I bleed the blood. Why? This means war. Hey, Somebody say, I declare war over the enemy. I declare war over the enemy. I declare war over the enemy. You can't have my mind. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. This means, this means. Devil, I'm not scared of you. Devil, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. It makes me go harder. It makes me go longer. It makes me go better. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This means war. This means war. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. This means war. This means war. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you for this morning's God. Lord, we thank you for our health and strength, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We need you right now, Lord. We need you in this service, God. We pray that you help us, Lord. We pray and we need you right now, God. Because you know that we know that you are on time, God. You may not come when we want you to, God. But you're right on time, God. God, we pray for the sick. We pray for the shut-in, God. We pray that you touch their mind, body, and soul, God. Lord, have mercy, God. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. We thank you for your greatness, Lord. We thank you for your goodness, Lord. We thank you right now, God. We pray, Lord, that you be with the bereavement family, God. Be with our families, Lord, that don't know you in the pardon of their sins, God. We ask you to save them, God. Heal them, God. Deliver God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. We thank you for our church family, God. Whatever they are in need of, God. You know them name by name, God. Situation by situation, God. We pray, God, that you touch them, Lord. In a mighty way, Lord Jesus. We need you, God. We need you, God. We need you in our schoolhouse, God. We need you in our home. God, we need you in the church house, God. We need you, we need you, we need you, God. We pray, uh, God, that you touch our pastor today. Uh, give him what to say, God. Uh, how to say it, God. Uh, oh, God, uh, we need you, Lord. Uh, we need you, God. Uh, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, God. Uh, right now, Lord, uh, we ask in these things. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now, Lord. For we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen and amen. Welcome to Anointed 
Praise and Worship Ministries. My name is Sister Cheryl Wilson. I will be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction. But we who are saved know it is the very power of God. As the scriptures say, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and discard the intelligence of the intelligent. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jesus. If, if everybody would uh, grab our church family. If you don't have one, please raise your hand. We'll make sure that you receive one. I desire that you all will read along with me. Thank you, Jesus, because we are a family. We are unified. And God get the glory out of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. If you all will read along with me, our church family. God made us family. We need one another. We love one another. We forgive one another. We work together. We play together. We worship together. Together, we use God's word. Together, we grow in Christ. Together, we love all men. Together, we serve our God. Together, we hope for heaven. These are our hopes and ideal environment. Help us to reach them, O oh God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We came into this house to praise the Lord. Anointed worshipers, y'all been singing this morning. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Somebody say, Lord, let your glory rise in this place. That's what we come for. We come to experience the glory. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, say it. Let the glory. Let the glory of the Lord rise. Rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord yeah. rise among us. Let the praises of our King yeah. rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord, I like that, rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Say it again. Let the glory, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise, rise among us, let it rise. Say oh, 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 oh. let it rise, let it rise. Oh, 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 oh. let it rise, let it rise. Let the glory. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, say it. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King, y'all singing, rise among us. Let it 
information with you. Oftentimes we tend to believe that we're fighting for victory. A lot of times we think we're fighting for victory or that we're fighting to overcome. But I come to let you know that we're not fighting for victory. Or rather, we are fighting from victory. What am I saying? I'm saying we already have the victory. Okay, okay. We have already overcome. That's why the Bible lets us know that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So no matter whatever you're dealing with, no matter whatever you are going through, guess what? If you are in Christ and Christ is in you, you already have the victory. And I just need you to prophesy to three people, just turn to three people and say, you already have the victory. You, you, you already have the victory. That means the battle that you're facing right now, you've already won it. Whatever you're going through, you already have overcome it. You have the victory through Christ. Welcome, and I'm, and I'm gonna go take my seat. But just by the show of hands, how many of y'all are dealing with something that you don't want to deal with today? And some of us have been worrying about it, amen, crying about it, about to have anxiety attacks. Come on, somebody, it's been putting us in depression and all of these other things that the enemy desires to do with us. But I just come to let you know that you are already victorious. So whatever you're going through, guess what? You are coming out for the Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. See, some of us want to make a tent in the valley and we want to make our bed in the valley. We want to invite everybody in the valley with us. But guess what? God did not design the trial and the tribulation that you're going through or dealing with for you to stay right there. But he said, yea, though I walk through. I wish I had some people, amen, that's watching online that understand, listen, I'm walking through this thing. I'm coming out of this situation. Yay, oh my God, it doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm coming through this. I am coming out in the name of Jesus. I wish I could get 10 people that shout, I'm coming out. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all didn't say that like you really mean it, but I need you to get that down in your spirit because some of y'all right now are a little distracted. You've been fighting the devil all week, all weekend long. And now that you're tuned in, now that you're in the house of God, don't you allow the enemy to take you off what God is trying to do for you. I need everybody that believes and say, I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. Now give God a hand clap of praise right there. Because I know I'm coming out. Do you know you're coming out? Just ask somebody, do you know you're coming out? Do you know you're coming out? It's more than just believing I'm going to come out. It's more than me just acting, oh my God, walking in faith that I'm going to come out. But I know I'm coming, oh my God. I know I'm coming out. I know I'm victorious. I know I'm an overcomer. I know I have the victory. I know I am triumphant. I'm coming out. And everything connected to me. 
everything connected to, to me is coming out of my family coming out to, bloodline coming out of anointed praise and worship ministries locally and worldwide we are come, oh my god i need to go take my seat y'all but i'm coming out Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The power of life and death is in your tongue, y'all. I just need everybody who got legs and that's able to stand. I just need you to stand with me for about 30 seconds. You can turn your time on. But I need everybody who got legs to take about 30 seconds and give God a coming out praise. One, two, one, two, three. This is my coming out praise. What the enemy meant for my past, God is turning around. I can smile in the enemy's face because I already have the victory. on us move on us in the name of Jesus you coming out you are 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 coming out Jesus, we ain't coming out like some weaklings. We not coming out like some wimps, but we coming out hard. Oh my God, we coming out hard, y'all. The devil gonna know yes that I have been delivered. I've been saved. I've been redeemed. Fire baptized. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together and bless them for your coming out party. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We coming out, y'all. Okay, thank you. See, the devil can't come out of what he in. He's eternally, oh my God, he's already eternally committed to damnation. But we don't have to be there. Thank you, Jesus. We are coming out, yes. Coming out of addiction. Coming out of gossip. Coming out of wickedness. Coming out of evil doing. I'm coming out. Okay, y'all. Woo! It sounds like some victorious people in here. It sounds like some victorious people in here. It looks like some victorious people are watching online. Victory, victory shall be mine. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to try this again. Just give God a hand cup of praise. Hallelujah. Take your seats if you can. My coming out party. Thank you, Jesus. This is my coming out party, y'all. You know, you know when you go to the party and, it, and it's your party? Come on, somebody. You make sure you the fly. Come on, somebody. You the flies individual at the party. You make sure. 
Everybody know it's your party. Thank you, Jesus. And it's our coming out party. Amen. I wish I had about 10 people that know this. This is your coming out party. You know my mind saying, hallelujah. Somebody got the message. Somebody got the message. Come forth, Lazarus. Come forth, come forth, come forth. Come forth out of sadness. Come forth out of depression. Come forth out of strongholds. Come forth out of anger. In the name of Jesus. Come forth. for your presence we thank you for your power we thank you for your promises you said if we would lift you up you would draw all men unto you and Lord we come only but to lift you up our master our king our Lord, our Savior, our everything. We thank you, Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. We thank you for your word and your faithfulness. You said every time we call on you, <laughs> you said you will answer. And Lord, we thank you that you have never failed us yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to welcome each and every one of you to Anointed Praise and Worship Ministries. Church of God in Christ, we thank God for you taking the time out to be a part of this experience, to be a part of this movement. Amen. We're not just a church, but we are a movement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God that he is drawing in the souls from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Amen. We thank God that he loves us so much and he cares so much about us that he allowed us to assemble one more time in his house locally as well as worldwide. If you all can, will y'all just give our online family a hand clap of praise that's tuning in with us. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. If you are a first-time guest watching Amen. This live broadcast, please type across the screen uh, that you are a first time guest. We want to take notice of you and we do. Amen. Want to reach out to you and connect with you. We do have some information that we would love to share with you if you are a first time guest. And if you are a first time guest in the house. Amen. When you came in, we gave you a first time guest card. Amen. Please fill that out legibly for us. And during the offering and during the offering. Amen. Uh, we're going to ask that you will place it in the offering basket. And we do have a gift for the first-time guest. 
Amen. We do have a gift for the first time guests, so we'll make sure that you get it. Amen. Before uh, you leave the house of the Lord. At this time, we're calling uh, for Deacon Dennis and Minister Rogers as they will assist us in moving forward. Amen. In giving and offering. God bless you. Man, we thank the Lord this morning. I just want to say I thank the Lord for everything he has done. Thank the Lord for blessing my family this week, taking us through. But I know God is a good God. He is a great God. And uh, I'd like to just sing a little bit of this, a uh, little praise. He's sweet, I know. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh Lord, he's sweet. I know. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Dark cloud may he ride. Oh Lord, stormy wind may blow. Ooh, I'll, I'll tell the world, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, wherever I may go, that I have found a safe. down and shaken together and running over shall men give unto your bosom or with the same measure that you might withhold it shall be measured to you again truly we thank the Lord for the reading of the word and at this time anointed praise and worship uh, Church of God in Christ Pine Bluff ways to give we have cash out, dollar sign, APWM, Pine Bluff. And we also have Giblify, APWM, C-O-G-I-C. Also, we have Square in person. And uh, we have Pastor on my left, your right, that's going to be standing here. If you want to bring your card and put it on the square, you can. And Within 20 seconds, you'll get a receipt. And also, we have mail, APWM, COGIC, PO Box 1535, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, 71613. And we also have foam. If you want to foam it in, we have 870 
727-027-0061. Text give. And uh, we're going to ask if, like I said before, if you have a card, uh, come to the pastor on my left. And also the um, ushers will direct you as you come around after the prayer. And uh, we ask no one to come down the center aisle at this time. Thank the Lord for the reading of the word. Father God, we just thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy, oh, Father God. So, Father God, we just thank you for the opportunity, or we thank you for this day, oh, Father God, a day of giving, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for we hear your people, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that the windows of heaven continue to open up unto us, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for our sisters and brothers that's online, our sisters and brothers that's here in the house, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for their spirit of giving, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, you said as we give, it shall be given them back to us. Press down good measure and shake it together. Shall men give unto our bosom. So Father God, Father God, you said in your word, if Lord, we are blessed in the city. Lord, we are blessed in the field. We are blessed as we come, oh Father God. And we are blessed as we go, oh Father God. So Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We just magnify you, oh Father God, that your angels are before us, oh Father God, and in, in your in your uh, rebuke, the devourer for our sake, in the name of Jesus. In, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we say thank you, thank you in amen and as um sisters and brothers if you will the ushers will direct you if you all stand to the outside walls and come around Can you please stand? Can you please point your right hand out to the, towards the basket and repeat after me? In faith I give, in faith I receive, it will return unto me and supply all my needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. As we prepare for the word of the Lord, somebody say, I need a word from God. Lord, feed me from heaven till I want no more. Make sure that you have your note pages, your iPad, your phone, turn your note app on, whatever you need to retain this word, these notes that pastor is going to preach to our hearts on today. We bless you, oh God, for our founder, our leader, ML Clay. We thank you for who he represents in the kingdom. No weapon that is formed against him shall prosper. Can you reach your right hand toward pastor? The right hand symbolizes blessings. 
and just tell him, preach, pastor. Say it again, preach, pastor. And I do mean preach. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain for kings and kingdoms, they shall know away but there's something about that name anybody know anything about the name Jesus the name that we call and demons tremble Jesus just try calling them Jesus there is something about the name I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. More than anything, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. More. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Anybody loving me here? Lord, I just want to say that I love you more than anything more than things more than any person God you are special in my life you are first and foremost in my life somebody tell them I love you 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 I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I, as we stand to receive the messenger, love you more than anything, more than anything. Most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you more than anything. You are the apple of our eye. You are our bright and morning star. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask that I decrease and that you increase in me. Don't let them see me, Father, but let them see you. <laughs> don't let them hear me but let them hear you I don't have the power God you have it 
I'm not able to save anyone. You are. I'm not able to deliver or set anyone free, but you are, Father. So on today, we say, Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you would, grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. We're going to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Thank you. Thank you, musicians. Amen. Ephesians, chapter 6. Uh, we're going to begin our re reading at verse 10, and we're going to conclude at verse uh, number 18. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ephesians, chapter 6. Beginning at verse 10 and concluding with verse, with verse 18. And when you have it, say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm waiting for just a few more praises from the audience. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just love the Lord, you all. And I won't take it back. <laughs> Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. Uh, beginning at verse 10, concluding at verse 18. Listen, y'all, we have a declaration of faith that we always declare, amen, every Sunday, right before, amen, we go forth in the word. And I'm going to ask everybody, if you would, just indulge me for a moment, amen, by repeating after me with power and authority, our declaration of faith. Say, this is my Bible. This is my weapon. And this is my life. I am. What it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. According to my faith, it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Please remain standing, amen, for the word of God. The Bible reads Ephesians chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. If you had a King James Version, just read along with me. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against uh, the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Amen. You all may be seated. You all may be seated. You all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Friend, I'm going to reread Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verses 10 through 18. Uh, from the Message Bible translation, uh, beginning at verse 10, it reads, verses 10 through 12, it says, and, and that wraps it up. God is strong, and he wants you strong. So take everything the master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything. Can somebody say everything? So that you'll be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest that we'll walk away from and forget about it in a couple of hours. Uh, this is for keeps. A life or death fight to the finish against, because somebody say against, against the devil and all his angels. Tell the person beside you say, uh, to get it on your mind. It's time to get it on your mind. And you look at somebody and say, it's time to, it's time to get it on your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, verses 13 through 18, I'm still in the message Bible translation. Uh, the Bible says, be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Mm. Family, stop trying to handle it on your own. Oh, my God. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon. Can somebody say every weapon? Every weapon God has issued so that when it's all over, but the shouting, you'll still be on your feet. Some of us are not on our feet right now because we're not utilizing every weapon God has given 
unto us. What are these weapons? Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than words. Mm. Learn how to apply them. You will need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon, meaning it is a weapon that is necessary. It is vital and key to our success. In the same way I'm still in the message translation, uh, prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits lift up so that no one falls behind or drops out. Family, on today, I desire to teach as the Holy Spirit shall guide. <laughs> With this thought in our minds, uh, get it on your mind. Mm. Uh, when you look at somebody say, get it on your mind, get it on your mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get, get it on your mind. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Where well, I came up from, when somebody tell me to get it on my mind, amen, this meaning it was some knocking going on in a few more. Come on, somebody. It was some knocking finna go take place in just a few more minutes. We can be at school. They said, okay, play, get it on your mind. So they already let you know you need to be ready. Make sure your, your shoes laced up, your belt tight. Come on, somebody. You got it on your mind. Don't come in here playing because if you come in here playing, you subject to get knocked out. Get it on. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. I want all of you that are in the cyber sanctuary to help me teach this afternoon by typing across the screen, get it on your mind. Uh, in verses 10 through 18, we'll find where the Apostle Paul shows us uh, the enemies that will oppose us and how we can overcome them collectively as well as individually. Uh, so, my dear brothers and sisters, sons and the da uh, daughters in the gospel, the word that has been sent straight from heaven for us is for us to get it on our minds that this fight that we're fighting, we must fight to the finish. Uh, there's no need of getting in the fight. Come on, somebody. And, and you throw the first, the, the first blow, then you ball up. Because what's going to happen, y'all? Come on, y'all. Talk to me. You're going to get the brakes beat off for you. Come on, y'all. Hey, man, they're going to two-feet you. Come on, somebody. But if you're going to fight, fight to the finish. Fight till it's over. Hey, man, fight till there's no more fight left in you. Don't just start the fight and don't finish the fight. But we must fight to the finish. There's no time for quitting. There's no time for dragging our feet, lollygagging, and procrastinating. Uh, there's no time for being easily offended, mm. hard-headed, and stiff-necked. Time is drawing near. We are in the last and evil days. We don't have time to play patty cake. We don't have time to play ring around the rosy. <laughs> We don't have time to play hide and go seek and twiddle our thumbs under the pomegranate tree. Uh, our arch enemy Satan desires uh, to shift us as wheat. But the Lord said, I pray for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. This, this, this particular thing that Jesus said, the Lord said, he said, uh, I pray for you that your faith fail not. That lets us know, amen, that we're going to go through some trials. We're going to go through some tribulations. We're going to go through some hard things in our life that we really do not desire. But God, didn't, Jesus didn't say, I pray for you that you won't go through nothing. See, oftentimes we believe that when we get saved, amen, that we, go, we don't go through anything else. Yeah, yeah, that we join a church that's anointed, hallelujah, and appointed by God. Then we think that right there, all of my trials are over. No more heartache, no more sadness. But the Lord didn't pray that we won't go through anything. He said, I pray for you that your faith... Mm, that your faith fail not, that, what, that your belief fail not, that what I have told you fail not, that you keep on holding on, amen, to the hand of the Lord, that you keep on holding up the blood-stained banner. And when you are converted, mm, 
when you are changed, when you are be, uh, transformed by the renewing of your mind, when your life changes, then I need for you to do something. I don't, I don't need for you just to come to church, amen, looking good and smelling good, but when you are converted, I need for you to do something. I need for you to strengthen. Mm, I need for you to strengthen your brother. I need for you to encourage somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I need for you to pray for somebody. I need for you to go by somebody's house and let them know it's going to be all right. I need for you to call somebody. I need for you to like and share the broadcast. When you are converted, strengthen your brethren. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, sons and daughters in the gospel, I pray, amen, that you get it on your mind. Mm. That you understand with the utmost importance that we are in a spiritual as well as a psychological warfare. Mm. I pray, I pray that your spiritual eyes be open to see that we have a war going on all around us. Uh, uh, just tell on your television. And you'll see wars and rumors of wars. I don't know if they still have the newspaper, but if they do, read your local newspaper. And you'll see mothers against daughters and sons against fathers. You can go on any social media outlet or even walk into your neighborhood beauty or barbershop. And you hear all kinds of conversations pertaining to strife, conflict, assaults, and bloodshed. So Matthew chapter 24, write this down, no takers. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 and 7. Warn us of these things beforehand. Matthew 24, 6 and 7 reads, And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. See ye, that ye be not troubled. Come on, somebody. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, y'all. Man, the Lord is already talking in here. He said, you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Listen, family, you're going to go through some stuff, but that does not mean it's the end. Come on, somebody. You may get sick, but that does not mean that's the end. You may lose your job. You may lose your boo thing. Come on, somebody. But it it's not over for all these things must come to pass, but this is not the end. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, meaning there shall be extreme hunger and starvation. Can't you see it? Uh, there shall be pestilence, mm. meaning there will be deadly epidemic diseases outbreaks and viruses can you see it and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places therefore my dear brothers and sisters sons and daughters in the gospel uh, we've got to be prepared we've got to be ready we've got to be groomed and filled with the power of the precious holy ghost because there is a war going on that has been formulated by satan to destroy everything good that God has created. See, you thought it was that knucklehead hating on you. No, it wasn't. It was the devil in him. Y'all ain't talking to me. You thought it was old girl, amen, acting crazy. No, it wasn't. It was the devil in her had her acting like that. Amen. The devil wants to destroy everything that God has created to be good. Therefore, as ambassadors and representatives of the kingdom of heaven, we have a responsibility and a charge to keep. We have, we have got to be assembled in order. Because somebody say get it in order. Mm -hmm. We have got to be assembled in order. Amen. Because where there is order, amen, the devil don't like order. The devil is disorder. Come on, somebody. The devil does not like unity. He, is, he likes disunity. The devil does not like peace, joy, and love. He likes hatred. He likes chaos and confusion. Family, we have to be assembled together in order. Amen. If we're not in order, praise God, can you imagine all of us strapped right now, praise God, and we got the biggest gun that the world can make, but we're out of order. Amen. And 
now our assignment is after church, we're going to go out here and fight the enemy. Amen. And if we are out of order, guess what? Somebody going to shoot the wrong person. Amen. You're going to shoot your friend, your cousin. Come on, somebody. Because we are out of order. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know who our enemy is. We're just carrying our weapon any kind of way. If we got our weapon, we ask, where your weapon? Oh, I left it at the house. What you mean you left it at the house? We on the battleground. We have got to be in order. We have got to be in place presenting our bodies. Thank you, Lee Jesus, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable, logical, and our sound-minded service. We've got to be prepared to endure hardness as good soldiers of Jesus the Christ. We've got to be prepared to face oppositions. We've got to be prepared to be hated on mm -hmm. and to go through trials and tribulations. Some of y'all pass all the way out of somebody hate on you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Just because it's a little opposition. Amen. Many people get ready to throw in the towel. You know what? I'm done with Disney World. Come on, somebody. But we have to remember, amen, that these things are going to come in our lives. How do we know this to be true? Well, here it is in 1 Peter. Write it down. 1 Peter chapter 4. Verses 12 uh, through 14. I don't plan to be before you long today already. First Peter chapter 4, verse 12 through 14 tells us, uh, dear friends, uh, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through. Mm. As if something strange were happening to you. So, some of y'all crying, amen. You're spending four hours crying about, I don't know why they doing me like this. Come on, somebody. I don't know why they acting like this. I don't know why they said what they said. But the Bible says from the New Living Translation, dear friends, don't be surprised mm, at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad. What, 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 what you mean? I need to be glad because I'm hating on. I need to be glad because I'm going through. Amen. I need to be glad. He said, be very glad for these trials. Make you partners with Christ in his suffering. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Because I'm going through, my dear brother, that means I'm blessed because I'm partnering with Christ. I think that what the Bible said, uh, blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness sake. Sometimes the devil is sent, amen, to persecute you so that you can be blessed. Oh my God, some of y'all missed it. Sometimes the devil is allowed to get on your last nerve so that you can be blessed. Sometimes the devil is allowed, amen, to take some stuff from you because God has something greater in store for you. For these trials make you partner with, with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory. When it is revealed to the world, verse 14, so be happy. Because mm, somebody shall be happy, be happy. So be happy when you are insulted. What? For being a Christian. For then the glorious spirit of God rests up on you. I know I ain't gonna get to finish this today. Have anybody been insulted for being a Christian? Oh my God. You've been insulted for posting too much Jesus on Facebook. You've been insulted for coming to church faithfully. Y'all ain't talking. You've been insulted for passing out flyers. You've been insulted for trying to do all that God has told you to do. But amen. I thank God for the insult. For then the glorious spirit of God rests. Mm. Rest on us. Can somebody say rest on me Lord. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we've got to get our minds right. We've got to put on uh, this whole armor of God and get in position to fight this good fight of faith and take hold of eternal life to which we were called and which we have confessed so well before many witnesses. Family, will you turn to your neighbor and say, get it on your mind. Mm. Yeah, 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 get it, get it on your mind. Yes, please get it on your mind. <laughs> because there is some spiritual warfare going on. No matter how rich or poor we are. No matter how educated or uneducated we are. Uh, it doesn't matter our nationality, our age, or our background. In each and every one of our lives, spiritual warfare is going on. 
even if we understand it or not, even if we believe it in it or not, even if we like it or not, there is a spiritual war that's going on. And if we would be honest, some of us who are assembled under the sound of my voice, locally as well as worldwide, some of us have a war raging in our minds, which has us all frantic and in a frenzy, dealing with extreme mental and or emotional agitation and distractions. But right now, in the almighty name of Jesus, I bind that evil spirit of turmoil and ruckus, and I release that spirit of peace and tranquility into your life. I rebuke that evil spirit of confusion and discombobulation, and I release clarity, I release knowledge, understanding, and wisdom into all that receive it. I rebuke that evil spirit of restlessness and pandemonium, and I release a calming peaceful spirit to rest on you and in you in the name of Jesus. I bind the evil spirit of commotion and clutter at its roots and I release the spirit of harmony and structure of comfort and composure and joy unspeakable into your day right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In many of our homes there is a warfare going on. There is conflict Havoc and hostility running from the front door to the back door. But I rebuke that spirit of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. I cast that evil spirit of division out. That spirit of conflict and confusion. I cast it back to the pits of hell where it belongs. And release the spirit of unity, of agreement, of love and clarity in the name of of Jesus. Can somebody shout in the name of Jesus? Now give God a hand clap of praise right there. Give God a hand clap of praise for your peace. Come on family, give God a hand clap of praise for your stability. Give him a hand clap of praise for your hope. Give him a hand clap of praise for your joy. Give him a hand clap of praise for his love towards us. For he carried for us. Now when you turn to your neighbor, we're going to get out here in just a second and look at your neighbor and say, get it on your mind. Yeah, 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 yes. Get it on your mind. And if there's nobody beside you, I want you to tell yourself, say self. Mm -hmm. Get it on your mind. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it on your mind. So as we can see, uh, this world that we're living in is warfare. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, might I add that not only is this entire world in opposition and conflict, our loving relationship with our Heavenly Father is even being opposed and attacked by the powers of darkness. You can do all you know to do to do right by people, mm. but yet some people will allow and or invite the powers of darkness to overtake them as they oppose and attack our loving relationship, fellowship, and communion with God and with one another. Oh yes, I know I'm right about it, praise God. You can make all the sacrifices that man is capable of making. You can go beyond the extra mile. You can bend beyond backwards. You can give beyond your last dime. And there's still going to be somebody with something negative to say. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but the Lord gave me this word to preach. There's still going to be somebody trying to stand in your way in the way of your success trying to stand in the way of your happiness trying to stand in the way of your progress trying to stand in the way of your prosperity and holiness no matter how good you are to people that low down dirty rat y'all remember that rap from last sunday mm -hmm. That low down dirty rat also known as the devil will always find somebody to possess 
that is open and willing. Some of y'all ain't getting this. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to speak to your spirit because your mind may be somewhere else today. But there is a devil, yes. He's always trying to find somebody he can possess that is open and willing, yes, to debate, to defy and dispute the truth of who God is and who God is in you. No matter how loving and kind you are, there's still going to be somebody known as well as unknown who's going to try to attempt to hinder your your, your, your forward momentum in the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But the devil is a liar. In the Bible, the Bible declares in Revelations chapter 12, verse 10, write it down. He said, I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, uh, now is come salvation, Revelation 12 and 10. He said, I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Anointed praise and worship ministries. We must be aware of this truth. That not only does the enemy of God run rampant and wild in the streets, if we are not careful... That same devil would try to ease his way into the church, smiling and looking cute, only to be an undercover agent. But the Bible says that he is cast down. He may try to raise his ugly head every now and and then but we as the children of God must remember that the devil has been cast down so instead of frustrating yourself with his evil doings just say Satan the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus as a matter of truth and as a point of interest I want every born again believer to shout Satan the Lord rebuke you yes in the name of Jesus some of y'all didn't say it like you had the power some of y'all didn't say it like you had the authority but I need you to open your mouth and open it real big yes and say Satan the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus and for those of you who are watching online I want you to type in the comment section say Satan the Lord rebuke you and that is why the apostle Paul declares finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might because coming to church is not enough because the devil goes to church y'all better hear this singing and clapping our hands are not enough because the devil sings and he claps his hands also reading our bibles and taking notes is not enough because the devil knows the word of god inside and out but we must be found applying ourselves to the work of the ministry living holy and remaining loyal to our Christian duties as good soldiers in the army of the Lord and that's the part that Satan cannot participate in the devil cannot live holy the devil cannot live right the devil cannot obey God's holy word the devil cannot submit to God's holy will. The devil cannot follow God's righteous instructions for he is the devil and accuse him of the brethren. Come on musicians, we might as well have some church. I feel like pushing right along in here because I feel like our salvation has come. But this is not the time for us to be timid, for us to be weak or feeble but we must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might this is not the time to be shy to be nervous or unassertive but we must be bold brave and courageous and let our light so shine this is not the time to back up or fold your hand or to close your praise the devil is a liar this is the perfect time. This is the perfect season to, to open our mouth and
Amen. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Every time, yes, the devil choose to attack. That is not the time to tuck your tail and run. Because God didn't create no much. We are some straight pit bulls. And I need for you to lock in and to shake something till you can't shake it no more. But the apostle Paul, he declared unto us to be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, not in the power of our own abilities, because we're not mighty enough to do it ourselves. But whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, I dare you, I dare you, I double dog dare you to put it in the Lord's hand and say, Lord, you have it according to the scriptures. The word of the Lord says uh, to cast your cares uh, upon him uh, for he careth for you. Uh, stop carrying it. Uh, lay aside uh, every weight uh, and the sin uh, which do it so easily. Uh, be set you. Uh, I need uh, for you to get it on your mind. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, be strong uh, in the Lord uh, and in the power of his might. Uh, not in the power uh, of our know-how, uh, nor in the power uh, of what we think. Because uh, if we just remember uh, just a few days ago, uh, our thinking uh, got us in the wrong place. Uh, our old thinking uh, had us in the wrong position. Uh, our wrong thinking uh, had us doing the wrong things uh, but I thank God uh, I thank God for God uh, I thank God for Jesus uh, I thank God for the Holy Ghost uh, he told me uh, he invited us uh, to be strong uh, in him uh, and in his power uh, and I receive it uh, do you receive uh, the invitation uh, because we are uh, not wise enough uh, to do it by ourselves uh, be strong uh, in the Lord uh, and in the power uh, of his might uh, I need uh, for the children of God uh, to learn how to pray uh, P-R-A-Y uh, and call on Jesus uh, in every situation uh, when you see the devil uh, put your fist up uh, Put your boxing gloves up. Uh, put your earrings back on. Uh, amen. Uh, get on your knees uh, and call on Jesus uh, because he will uh, answer prayer. Uh, pray for your enemies. Uh, pray uh, for those uh, who despitefully use you. Uh, pray uh, for your haters. Uh, Pray uh, in season uh, and out of season. Uh, pray when all is going well. Uh, pray uh, when all is going wrong. Uh, get it on your mind. Uh, yes, uh, it's on my mind uh, that I have the victory uh, in that low down, uh, that low down dirty devil. Uh, he want to take what's mine. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, he want to talk you out of it. Uh, he don't have the power, nor did he have the strength uh, to take what's yours uh, if God gave it to you. Uh, but I remember in Genesis, uh, yes, I do. Uh, when they gave the devil uh, dominion and power uh, over this earth uh, by uh, disobeying uh, what the Lord said, uh, I will obey her. Uh, I will walk in dominion. I will walk in power. I will walk in authority. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody say in the name of Jesus? It's on my mind, y'all. It might not have been on your mind when you got here. But it's on your mind now. We got a war to win. We got a victory, yes, uh, already prepared. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, 
Don't worry about the flunkies. Uh, don't worry about the little imps. Uh, don't worry about the demons. Uh, don't worry about the naysayers. Uh, but lift up holy hands uh, and call uh, on the name of Jesus. Uh, I say call him. Uh, call him. Uh, call him. Jesus, 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 it don't matter what it looks like, Jesus, no matter the weapon formed, Jesus, Jesus, it's on my mind, it's on my mind. It's on my mind. Yeah, yes, yes. We can all testify that the devil been trying to attack us in some same form of fashion. And if it had not been for the word, for the word of God, we would have slipped. If it had not been for APWM, we would have slipped. Uh, if it had not been uh, for the Holy Ghost, uh, we would have slipped. Uh, but thank you. No longer bound. Uh, no longer bound. Uh, I said it's your coming out party. No longer bound. Uh, I got it on my mind. Uh, I already have the victory. I'm going into this fight. Uh, Already won. So since I've already won, all I gotta do is start swinging. I need for you to start swinging. Start swinging. Don't hit the person beside you, but start swinging. Swing in the spirit. Swing in the spirit. Swing through your prayer life. Swing in fasting. Swing in prayer. Swing in righteous living. Swing in holiness. Start swinging. It's on my mind. It's on my mind. It's on my mind. It's on my mind. Family, we cannot forget just because God has blessed us with this beautiful edifice, this beautiful building, just because God has blessed us, awesome leadership team, awesome family members, just because God has blessed us, it opened up the windows of heaven and poured us out a blessing in which we don't have room enough to receive. Just because God has blessed us in 2021, the year of promotion. Don't get caught slipping. Don't become at ease in Zion. Keep it on your mind. You see, as soon as you're comfortable, as soon as you forget to Turn the alarm on. That's when the burglar come break in your, in your house, in your crib. <laughs> Soon as you get caught slipping. Well, I just ran in the, gro in the, in the gas station to grab me a soda. You know, I was just going to run in and run back out. It's cold, so I was just going to run in and run back out, leave the car running. You come back out, your car gone. Come on, somebody. Because you done got comfortable. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. You know, you left the candles on. You know, I always leave the candles burning at the house. You know, so when I get back from church, when I get back from work, when I get back from wherever, my house smells good because of the candles. Don't get caught slipping. You come back and your house burned down because you left candles burning. Y'all ain't talking to me. Don't get too comfortable. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Because the enemy hating y'all. How many of y'all know he hating on you? Thank you, Jesus. 
You made up your mind, I'm going to live right. I'm going to live holy. My desire to do this thing the right way. Amen. I'm going to put my jersey up. Come on, man. I'm going to hang up my jersey. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn in my card. Come on, y'all. I'm going to burn the black book. Come on, man. Don't leave me out there. Hallelujah. I'm going I'm to be a one man. I'm going to be one man for my wife. Come on, somebody. I'm going to hang up my player. I'm going to throw in my player card. Y'all know y'all act like y'all go. Hey, man, I'm going to put up my jersey. I ain't in the game no more. As soon as you make up your mind, <laughs> then I'm done with that. Keep your switch of sweets. Come on, y'all. Keep your blue juju. I'm good. The devil will send people your way. Come on, somebody. They'll pull up out of nowhere. Man, where you, you been in New Mexico, ain't it? I thought you lived in New Mexico, man. I'm just down here, man, checking on you. The devil is alive. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but we can't bleed blocks together. That's not my life no more. Come on, somebody. But I'm going to walk in holiness. I got it on my mind that heaven is where I want to be. Come on. I got it on my mind that I want my family, my friend, everything connected to me to go to heaven. So I'm going to live right. I'm going to live holy to be an example before them. Come on, somebody. So when they see my life, they say, oh, yeah, he changed. He's no longer this. I remember him. I remember her. It's something different about them. What you got going on? I got Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hey, I got the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But today is your day to give God your heart. We ain't got time for playing. We can play tic-tac-toe another time. It's not a game. Thank you, Jesus. People are leaving here left and right. And if he call us by name, will you be ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he call your name, guess what? He calling babies too. It ain't a certain age. He called it everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Just because you cute don't mean he won't call you. Come on. Just because you handsome don't mean he won't call you. Just because you got all the money in the world don't mean he won't call you. If he called you right now, will you be ready? Will you be ready? If you're not ready, you better get ready. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, if there's someone under the sound of my voice that have made up in their mind that they want to live for you for the rest of their days, Father God, I ask right now that you will send your ministering angels to them. And that they will begin to minister to their hearts, minds, and spirits. In the name of Jesus, I counsel the assignment of the enemy off of your life right now in the name of Jesus. I crush that demonic voice that's trying to speak into your ear gates even now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will save, heal, and deliver every person that is calling on the name of Jesus I know that you died on the cross for all of our sins and that on the third day you rose again with all power in your hand and because you got up we are able to get up out of any and every situation that we have placed ourselves in Lord we receive you into our hearts today we receive you into our minds today God have your way in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the saints right now that you would give them the strength to continue to hold on. To, that you would give them the strength to help them to hold up the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. That you would give them the strength to continue to fight the good fight of faith. 
in the name of Jesus I pray that you will restore the backsliders those who are walked away from you and gone back to a devil God that does not love them but Father God I pray that you will restore them back to you in the name of Jesus and we give your name the glory the honor and the praise in Jesus' name because somebody say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we are saved yes we are set free we are delivered we are made whole again we are restored in the name of Jesus we are covered God covered our families cover our church cover the ministry God cover the vision cover the dreams in Jesus' name Amen. Come on and give God a hand. Clap of praise. If there's someone who's watching and you're in need of a church home and you say, I love connecting online with Anointed Praise and Worship Ministries. I need a church home. I need a covering. And you feel drawn to us. Well, listen, welcome home. Look no further. There's some information already. Amen. At the top of this video, all you have to do is just click to connect. Amen. And fill out the information. And Dr. Claire and myself will gladly reach out to you to receive you into the family. There's so much in store for your life. We want to grow with you in the name of Jesus. If there's one in the building in need of a church home, in need of a covering, and you say, listen, this is where I can grow. I see myself growing. I love, I can do this. I, I can do this. If this is what your way you want to be, just wave your hand at me from the audience. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give God a hand, clap of praise. Thank you, Jesus. You all may be seated. Hallelujah, you all may be seated. Get it on your mind. Thank you, Jesus. We'll shout next Sunday. Get it on your mind. Get it on your mind. For my Bible scholars, I know I didn't exegete the text. It wasn't my plan. I wanted you to know to get it on your mind. As some quick announcements, some quick announcements. Amen. December, Friday, December the 31st at 7 o'clock p.m. We will be here for the crossover. It is a New Year's Eve celebration. As we were coming up when we were younger, we would come to church about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And we would stay to after 12 and bring in uh, the new year, praising and glorifying God. But the times that we in, wisdom lets me know, yes, I have faith in God that he'll cover us. But I also have wisdom from the Lord. To protect his people who I'm responsible for. So on Friday, December the 31st, we will be going high in the Lord that night at 7 o'clock p.m. Thank you, Jesus. No, we're not going to stay to 12. No, Lord. Amen. But we're going to come in and we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. So invite everybody that you know, amen, to be a part of our, the crossover, the New Year's Eve celebration. Also, on next Sunday, can somebody say next Sunday? On next Sunday, we have a very special guest that's going to be with us, uh, Pastor David O. Jones uh, from the Kingdom Builders Outreach Church of God in Christ here in the city of Pine Bluff. He's going to come and break bread with us on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. And so we're looking forward to a marvelous time in God. Amen. I want y'all to, I would say be on y'all best behavior, but no, uh -uh, I want y'all to come here and act up. Amen. Amen. Knock the walls down. Come on, somebody. Amen. Giving God the glory. So we look forward, amen, to you all being here on next Sunday. Last but not least, this Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m., amen, on Facebook Live and in the building, amen, we're in our new teaching series uh, entitled Teamwork Makes the Dream Work. And God has been blessing us. Were you all blessed this past Wednesday? I know I was. 
Thank you, Jesus. If you didn't, hey, if you didn't get it, amen. You 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 treat yourself bad, amen. Treat yourself good, amen. And go watch it on YouTube at APWM Worldwide. And make sure you be here with us as we go deeper this Wednesday night. We start promptly at 635. Amen. So come on, get in, get your coffee, get your get the low table materials. Amen. Get your seat at the table because God is going to pour out even more on us. That teamwork makes the dream work. Hallelujah. As we prepare to leave this place, uh, but never from God's presence. I truly again thank God for all of our first time guests. Come on, let's give our first time guests another hand. Amen. I'm not going to call this individual out or up or anything, but it really blessed my soul. Amen. To see this individual walk through those doors. Amen. Don't be trying to be in our business, but we've been there, done that. Amen. Amen. This individual know we ain't got to talk about it. Amen. So don't come behind and see what y'all do, what y'all do. None of your business. Hallelujah. None of your business. But I thank God for this individual walking in. It's truly an honor. Amen. It's truly a privilege and a blessing. And God has something great in store for you. I promise you. Amen. If you just walk with me for just a few minutes, amen, it's going to be revealed to you. As a matter of fact, you already saw it. Amen. You already saw yourself. You're like, man, that's I can do that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Praise God. Well, we thank God for your gift. We love you. At this time, Minister Rogers, he's going to come. Amen. And have the last words. Amen. And uh, and dismiss us. Uh -uh. Amen. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. Can everybody give a God another hand clap? Amen. Amen, amen. Can everybody just reach your right hand towards Pastor? Amen. Say, and repeat after me. Father God, Lord, replenish him, oh, Father God. Lord, when this store is low, oh, Father God, fill it up, oh, Father God. Lord, continue to pour the oil of the anointing on him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just ask for your blessings over him. Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Bless him from the crown of his, of his head to the soles of his feet. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, it's all hearts and minds are clear. Let us pray. Father God, we just thank you right now, oh, Father God. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, that a word that was sent down right from the throne of grace, oh, Father God. Father God, we just thank you for your word on today that went out in clarity, oh, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your, that your word went out. Illumination was revealed, oh, Father God. The eyes of our understanding has been enlightened, oh, Father God. Now, Father God, as we leave your place, oh, Father God, whenever your presence, oh, Father God, we ask for traveling graces right now, Lord. Lord, we ask that our vehicles be protected, our tires be covered in the blood of Jesus. Lord, we ask that your angels go before us, making every cricket place straight, oh Father God. So Father God, we just thank you for the pressing, the pushing, the, the quickening, oh Father God. Lord, we know that this is a war. So Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we're putting on our full armor right now, Lord, and we got it on our minds, oh Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Before you leave, sisters and brothers, please elbow somebody. Tell them you love them.